As you will have, chaps and chap, it's Game Chap and Bert here. Yes. Yes, indeed, fellows. And I dare say Microsoft's E3 briefing 2014 has just concluded, has it not, old chap? It most certainly has, old chap. Yes, indeed. On the back of the Xbox One launch last year, they devoted the whole 90-minute conference to their games, and they brought some pretty strong cards to the table. That's right, old boy. The event opened, of course, with Call of Duty, sharing a futuristic setting for the advanced warfare title. We saw some Halo-inspired guns and ships, along with Ghost Recon-style spotter grenades, so the series has been taking cues from other lines for this idea, it seems. Well, it most certainly does, yes, indeed. A lot of sort of Halo-looking things there, I must say. Well, indeed, old boy. It remains to be seen if the high-tech style will take off with the fans, though. That's right. It's a bit of a gamble there, perhaps, with well, the, not so much realism, but more a sci-fi and, I dare say, semi-fantasy feel to some of those guns with lasers and that sort of thing. Now, a little later on, Ubisoft showed some Assassin's Creed unity. They most certainly did, with a lot to live up to, to last year's Assassin's Creed Black Flag, of course. That's right. Yes, now this one featuring some very impressive graphics, we must say. An interesting setting and a clever four-player co-op mechanic, it seems. That's right, old boy. I dare say they portrayed the riots, the period setting, and the nobility very well, and of course, placing poor chaps' heads on pails, the poor beggars. Well, yes, apparently, yes, indeed. My word, now, Halo 5 was absent for the most part this time, and instead we saw Halo the Master Chief Collection, a grouping of the Chief's previous items into one HD package with the various famous multiplayer modes intact from the older games of the series, so you can play multiplayer and single player. Now, it also includes a collection of extras and gimmicks for veteran appreciators of that series. Yes, indeed, but not too much news on Halo 5 apart from a multiplayer beta. Uh, that's right, of course. Yes, a multiplayer a demo of sorts, as it were, in anticipation of the real thing. Now, of course, another popular title last year, Tomb Raider. And this year's Tomb Raider was another big title of today's E3, with Miss Croft initially posing as some other heroine. But as the trailer progressed and her injuries racked up, it became clear that it was indeed Lara's next big blockbuster. Uh, well, yes, old boy. Her physique has gained a little, perhaps, but nothing too consequential. And exact game details aren't clear yet, but it seems the popular bow and survival mechanics will be be returning. Yes, we're not sure whether the bow will be bigger or smaller, but it's definitely bounced back. Y yes, that's quite all right. Yes. Fable Legend showed off some nice graphics, some white cracks, and some girls with flapping skirts. So that was nice. Uh, uh oh, flapping skirts? Yes, indeed, oh, old right. Okay, yes. Now we also saw some rather sexy Street Fighter DLC costumes for Dead Rising. Ah, yes. Yes, a new crackdown with impressive CGI trailer, and a new game from Platinum Games called Scalebound. Yes, indeed. This time, Mr. Kamiya has put his firm's game on the Xbox One quite wisely, instead of the Wii U, perhaps after the wonderful 101's poor sales. We also saw an array of other titles, but Batman and Battlefield were absent, but maybe we'll see those later in the E3 event. Yes, indeed. A lot of anticipation surrounding those particular titles. Of course, we haven't seen Nintendo yet, because their time is tomorrow, so a lot of excitement there. Yes, indeed, old boy, and plenty more yet to look forward to in E3, but I dare say, what do you think of Microsoft's offering so far, and more importantly, will they win E3 this year? That's a very good question. A lot of pressure when you're first up like that. Yes, indeed, old boy. You can vote on our forums if you so wish, fellows, but indeed, do stay tuned for more news, I say. We look forward to seeing you once more on the next. Any, any, good as well. Yes,